All right, guys. So uh, lately, I've been having a little bit of issue with my truck. For some reason, uh, engine brake would sound really loud sometimes, and it wouldn't really stop that good. And then sometimes it would be really good, and you can barely hear it. So I thought maybe I was having some troubles with my VGT. I did replace my turbo not too long ago, but I never replaced the VGT actuator. And um, once I popped it open, I hope you can see this. If you look down that hole, uh, it obviously doesn't match. And no matter what I command it, it would always sit at 30% when it's commanded 5. So when I originally installed it, I thought I did it 100% right. But as you can see, it was actually off quite a bit. So the whole goal is to get this where if you look through this hole right here, you'll see all of on the bottom, you'll see another hole. And when this is fully open, you'll see half of that hole. Um, if you guys watch Rozzy's videos, uh, you guys will definitely notice that he's talking about that. So I'll try to set it up correctly here and uh, adjust it. I have my inside ready to go and then we'll see if that helps my issues but uh, it's been bugging me for a little while and I finally got a little bit of time to do it today so I'll fix this and then I'll get back to you guys and you'll see how I set this up. Alright guys so I'm back obviously open up my window here where I'm gonna set up my uh, VGT actuator and calibrate it. I lined this up perfectly so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, install this actuator again and you're gonna pop there's a whole bunch of these little windows gonna pop up and basically telling you that this has to be removed off the turbo before you do it if you don't follow this you could result in uh, messing up your VGT actuator I highly suggest not doing that so go in this window open it up install actuator this window pops up again it's okay and then just go start and it passed so now it's ready to be put back on to the turbo and then we'll do it again so I'll get back to you once I'm ready to do that alright guys so I installed it back on uh, no problems so now we'll go ahead and calibrate it. Calibrate, this window will pop up again, it's fine. Push start. And it actually passed, uh, surprising. Because uh, this is pretty old, it's got about 620,000 on it, and I like to do this twice. I learned that from somebody, and actually I learned that to be uh, to be good, good thing to do because these things uh, definitely uh, need to be done twice. I've done it once before and it wasn't, it didn't work, and then that second time actually worked. So uh, this one passed again, so we should be good to go. I'll button everything up and. Um, We'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and fire up the truck and see where it's actually running when I fired it up. When you guys do this, you might notice my coolant is not drained, and you only need to take this one line off, this one right here. What I did is I just uh, took a high-quality glove, put it over where my finger goes, uh, zip-tied it, and then I zip-tied it one more time on the bottom right here. Yeah, this is full of coolant. But I'll just what I'll do is I'll just puncture a hole right here, slide this over, put my nut and my washers back on, tighten it, and then yeah, I might have a little bit of coolant in a uh, residual in here, uh, but you know it beats uh, beats draining the whole coolant system. It's just pain. But uh, also, you have to make sure that you guys always block this off. I use the glove again. As you see, I'm not wearing any gloves, but I'm using it as tools. So. Um, just make sure you guys put it over this and uh, don't let anything go inside your turbo. Uh, it's, they are very pricey and you don't want to uh, you don't want to leave any tools inside. So I'll go ahead and uh, button this up. Uh, we'll fire it up and we'll see how it runs. All right. 